Hey everyone, we're back here at Aluma Trailers and we're gonna actually go through an installation on a 77 series for the 24 inch uh, rock guard and the side racks. So with that, let's start out by what you're gonna get when you get your trailer in for the kit. So we have the kit slated in front of us and we'll go through what's in the, in the hardware bag that you're gonna get and also the tools needed. Obviously the most important thing in the hardware bag is the set of instructions, but that's what this video will help us do is kind of walk through those instructions uh, in, in a video. So in the, bolt, in the hardware kit, you're gonna get the bolt kits for the sides. So there'll be four for the driver side, four for the passenger side, including the washers and the lock nuts, along with the uprights for the front, which will tie the sides together. You'll have two for the driver side, two for the passenger side, the washers and the nuts. Tools needed for this installation are gonna be your 9 16 wrench, your 9 16 deep well socket, your half inch wrench, your half inch socket, your 3 8 drill bit, your impact, your drill. Obviously, always handy to have the mallet for adjustments along with a pry bar just in case you need to make any tweaks and adjustments to get the side racks to fit in. So with that, let's move over to the trailer and let's get started. Alrighty, we're back here to do an installation today on the Aluma 7712H. We're going to do a 24 inch side rack kit installation on this one. Uh, just as you can see, we pre-drilled some of the holes, but we're still going to walk through all the steps to show you exactly how it goes together. So we're going to set the start out by setting the rock guard on the front of this. The channel will actually set down in this. We've already had the, the holes in the rock guard, but once again, you will use your drill and your 3 8 inch drill bit. You'll pre-drill all four holes on this front rock guard. You will use your longer bolts and the washers and the uh, lock nuts on there, and we'll secure everything down. Now, when you install this on this initial installation on the side rack kit, leave these outside front bolts just a little bit loose until you get it all complete, then walk back around and do the installation complete. You're good. Okay, now we'll move on to the driver's side and we'll install the 24 inch uh, side kit rack on there. Alrighty, now we're gonna do the driver's side. And this channel will go over the rail and we will line it into the side front extrusion. And you may end up tapping in the back to get this secure here. Good. Then you'll take your long bolts. As I said, we've already pre-drilled through this rail and secure this side in with the longer bolts. Okay, we'll move on to the passenger side.
And now the final step of the installation process is to take the shorter bolts, run the drill through here, and secure the sides on the uprights. One note on the installation of these, when you're drilling these, it is best to go on a slight angle just to get the best securement for the hole on the inside of this. With that, we will take our 7 16 wrench. I'm sorry, we will take our half inch wrench and half inch socket and we will go around and secure the uprights. And then we'll go back through and we'll tighten all the way around the trailer on the sides.